volcanoes. It is a known fact, evidenced by the mine workers, that temperature and pressure increase with depth inside the Earth's crust. Scientists have estimated that temperature would be around 6000 degrees Celsius at the core or the center of our planet. The outer layers of the Earth consist of layers of rock containing different types of minerals. There are a few minerals called the radioactive minerals such as radium, uranium, thorium, plutonium, etc. which continuously emanate heat. When they are present in the deep-seated rocks, the heat thus emitted gets accumulated as rocks which are bad conductors of heat. This accumulated heat melts the rock around, forming a reservoir of molten rock material called magma, which upon reaching the Earth's surface is called lava. While the solid rocks are liquefied, water vapor and many other gases are released, which, as there is no way to escape, also occupy the same chamber along with the magma and exert great pressure upon it. Hence, magma tries to escape to regions where the pressure is comparatively less and thus, in that process, reaches the surface of the Earth through the fissures and joints present in the upper layers of the Earth's crust. As the excessive heat and pressure is released, it solidifies again, forming igneous rocks. Some magma is solidified along the passage to the Earth's surface this process is called volcanicity. A volcano is an opening on the Earth's surface through which rock fragments, lava, cinder, ash, smoke, steam and other gases such as sulfur dioxide, ammonium chloride, hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide are emitted during an eruption. There are two types of volcanic eruption the central type and the fissure type. The central type of eruption. This type of eruption usually involves a single vent. The solid and molten rock materials ejected accumulate around the vent forming a hill or a mountain more or less conical in shape. At the apex of these volcanic cones are funnel shaped depressions called craters which usually contain crater lakes but fiercely discharge volcanic materials at the time of an eruption. The fissure type of eruption. This type of eruption involves a series of winds present along a fault line in the Earth's crust, discharging enormous quantities of lava, leading to the formation of lava plains and plateaus, usually hundreds of square kilometers in area.